All right, in sports now, to challenge the norms in Nigeria football circle and after modern basic training, the trainer's techniques, Search and Groom, a non-governmental organization that specializes in youth development, has secured the franchise to bring Curva cover coaching with basic training for trainers to Nigeria. Now, the project, which is supported by Lagos State Football Association, has been responsible for the high success rate in 50 countries across the world, including but not limited to England, Japan, Netherlands, France, Germany, United States, uh, South Africa and Morocco. But what really is cover coaching? We have on the breakfast show Search and Groom Executive Director Yomi Kuku with us in the studio. It's good to have you. Good morning. You're welcome. And also the Chief Executive Officer, Technical Director of Raynell Wordings of Curva Coaching. Uh, we have him uh, in the Raynell Wordings. Thank you for coming on the program. Mm -hmm. Now, first of all, let's have an, an, an understanding of what Curva Coaching is. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm going to start with you, uh, Kuku. Okay, <laughs> all right. Uh, Curva Coaching is a skills uh, development program, and uh, it's like a movement, a philosophy of how to play football. Uh, bringing young people to be able to develop their skills, uh, to make the game more entertaining, to build confidence, you know, and also uh, to also help the fans to understand better what the game takes. So it's a whole sum of um, um, ideas, bringing uh, youth development and bringing uh, kids into understanding what the game could be for fun, not for competitive uh, motives alone. So and it's been all over 50 countries in, in the world, and it's it's now here officially in Nigeria. Why, what's, why do you bring it here to Nigeria? Well, uh, I was uh, invited by uh, Mr. Yomi Koku uh, by the, to the Curve Coaching Foundations. And uh, because I uh, have also a lot of Nigerian friends in the Netherlands and we just get the request and I was like, wow, let's go for it. And uh, we've met each other uh, last year at uh, our annual business meeting. And uh, yeah. That's, not uh, that's not because you think using. Nigeria needs it? Uh, no, not, 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 that was not the, the first reason. The first reason was uh, pure the invitation and we would like to work as uh, social, uh, communic social community programs. Okay, now, let, let me come back to you, Mikuku, on this. Talking about the many of the countries that have practiced or have this cover coaching are developed countries. Yeah. Now, bringing it to a developing country like Nigeria, what kind of challenges do you think this could face or how successful do you think this could be? Uh, well, um, like you mentioned, we met at the annual business meeting in Lutraki, Greece, Greece last year. Yeah. And we got talking and he told me about his Nigerian friends in the Netherlands. He's actually the technical director for Netherlands. And um, uh, the chief operating officer, uh, who happens to be Mike Smith, you know, said um, if we want to bring cover coaching to Nigeria, it's open and then he will look at the coaches who are ready to come to Nigeria to come and you know assist and build this same system and create a success story that Cover has created in Japan for over 15 years single-handedly building the female football and also supporting J League academies and clubs and also being advisors to the Premier League academies in England uh, they've also done quite a lot breeding players like uh, Arian Robin, he's a product of Cover Coaching. Gareth Bale is one of them. They've got players all over in Netherlands, and you and I will agree that um, Netherlands have quite a lot of skillful players. And even one of the coaches, Marinos, you know, he was a top player before he decided to work out on football. And Davids was, you know, on the bench while he plays, you know. So these are some of the things that we look at because, for me, the philosophy of football is to be able to have fun. I like to get results, but the first thing to me is let us watch the game and you know enjoy it, not just oh we want to win by all means possible. Okay. So and uh, you know and I also understand that many times I've been on your program and I've emphasized the fact that we really no longer have skillful players in Nigeria. Uh, there was a time in the 90s when we had uh, the Super Eagles that could boast of about three teams. You had we had um, one position with three players, but now we struggle every time. And the truth there is that these players are not as technically gifted as previously. So there's a huge gap. Uh, when you look at the coaches then, uh, we had Joe Eriko, Paula Milton, uh, Bazuaye, Godwin Izilian, all of them, Kashima Olaloko. During those periods, they had those countries where they were traveling to on their own volition with their own monies, you know, to be able to acquire knowledge. And People like Eriko were going to Brazil, Hamilton, they were going to like Germany, Hungary. So they bring all those philosophies back to Nigeria and they were able to impart this on the players. But now you hardly find that. And Cover has also successfully done something, you know, bringing skillful players 
uh, and then simulating their skills, put it on the computer, and then being able to impact this on the coaches. And so they take it back to the pitch. And so for Rainer, coming to Nigeria, he said, wow, it's like coming home. Yeah, he's actually from, you, you come from Suriname, Suriname, but he was born in Netherlands and he grew up in Netherlands. Okay, let's, let's, let's do a bit more. Let's, so so we, re we really understand what this is all about. The difference between the cover coaching and the normal coaching. Can you just be explicit? I mean, just explain and explain shape. Well, the curve for coaching method, it's, an, it's a method uh, which is involved over 32 years. And um, the, the approach from the curve for coaching method is we start from the individual. And uh, the difference between uh, federation coaching is they start as a team. So um, we try to create uh, skillful players who uh, develop their individual quality so that they could become creative uh, team players. So that's, that's actually the, the curve for coaching method and we, we got our own uh, pyramid of player uh, development structure where we start with ball mastery, our toe taps, uh, we got uh, receiving and passing, we got 1v1 attack and defense to give them more confidence and while uh, we we going th through those phases then uh, we end up at the group play and it's actually football is a team sport, but we just want to give them the tools, give them also the right life skills, uh, concentration, uh, uh, communication. That was one of the most important parts actually while we're working with these kids. The communication part wasn't there. They just, when we say do this, they're doing it, but they didn't talk with each other. So mm. while working with these kids, we realize that communication is one of the important things with them. But from the coach's uh, point of view, is also very important because, um, yeah, maybe the, the way in Nigeria is like, yes, this, uh, you need to do this or that, but we are asking them and just to give them a better insight, a better view, how they could become better coaches and how to create skillful uh, players. Doesn't right. that, sorry, doesn't yeah. that rob them of their individuality because you come in with a com computerized, programmed way of, if I understand what you've explained, for instance, maybe uh, you got Messi, Messi for instance, how yeah. he plays and it's computerized and you, 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 you teach that to the youngsters. I will want to develop my, I will want to be myself. Perhaps I could be the next Messi, even greater than him. Yeah, yeah you're, you're right, but it's just to encourage the player to be as skillful as uh, Messi, not to play directly like him. You know, when you give him the tools to be able to play like Messi, then he can also use that like a mix-up with his own personal skills. Uh, cover coaching does not in any way suppress individual talent. Instead, it encourages talents to grow and also to bring in some other players who are more talented. You know, people, uh, players you could gain from. Uh, somebody like Xavi, there is, uh, there is these, uh, you know, uh, training sessions working out like uh, playing like Xavi. You know that when Xavi is in the midfield for Barcelona, he plays one of the best football you can ever imagine. He could turn around within 15 years and make it like about four or five passes at the same time. So if you have players who are able to adopt this, add it to their own personal talent and individual talent, then it's, it's easier for us to be able to have more quality players. And, you know, for me, what got me fascinated about uh, this is because, you know, they allow individual talent to also flourish. So, I mean, I'm not going to go for something that is totally computerized, but i tell you something. Uh, the success story for cover, which I will use again, Japan is they had like about five players in the female squad for the Women's World Cup that won the female World, Women's World Cup. And then they also like, had about four others that won the U17. They have a success story also in other countries like Northern Ireland. And uh, most of the Premier League academies, they work with cover and they have a very huge, you know, uh, partner club program with a club like Stoke City. And even right now in uh, Netherlands, is, uh, he has something with uh, Ajax and Utrecht. I mean, you can talk about that as well, right now. Well, uh, we have, uh, we're working with amateur clubs mm -hmm. formally because those are the clubs who need that support from Curve Coaching. Okay. And then again, we also work with uh, FC Al Almere City FC. We're going to uh, organize a youth diploma. That's a two-day course, which we keep here in uh, Nigeria at the Agiga Stadium. Um, we're going to organize that one uh, with FC Utrecht, which is also a pro club. Um, also, we did one uh, one for one play like the Stars trainer module at uh, AX. Yeah, why AX? Uh, AX is uh, also a, a partner from uh, Adidas and Curve Coaching is uh, over more than 30 years global partner with Adidas. So we are related with the Adidas uh, partner clubs as well. So 
that's what we uh, do. All right, Raynell Warden, thank you for coming on TVC Breakfast. And Yomi Kuku, thank well, you very we, much. Well, before we go, we also <laughs> well, want we're to out thank of time you. anyway. Right. Okay, we want to thank you to the Lagos State Football Association <laughs> okay. and the Lagos Sports Commission. All right. They were really instrumental to the success story of uh, This is great, and we look forward to great outcomes of all of this partnership. Uh, perhaps that could you. just be another message, like I said. Uh, you, you can be another <laughs> message, <laughs> yeah, and, I, and I'll be a good spectator of what, <laughs> how messy like you can be. All right. All right, this is where we draw the cottons on today's program. Thank you for spending your morning with us. Tomorrow is going to be another time again for us to have great time on the breakfast. I am Mike Okwache. I am Busolami Tumwache. Bye for now.